Morning, Robin Wetton here uh, again on this nice sunny Thursday morning. Um, we're here today with uh, Matt Rycraft. Matt is a uh, synonymous in the Liverpool area um, as a wedding photographer who's won a huge amount of awards and he's just told me, and I think it's quite right, he's a magician with a camera. So Matt, you tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? As, as a child, uh, you know, I think I was either going to be a magician or I was going to be a photographer. So I think combining those two words together is absolutely perfect, you know. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've worked in the area for 14 years, got um, an impeccable reputation in the Liverpool area. And, you know, probably 90% of my work is, is in the Liverpool area. Uh, so it's great working with local couples and local brides. Um, and grooms um, and yeah you know I've been I've been lucky enough to become obviously a permajet ambassador so that's great because I love printing and I love getting my, my hands you know dirty in, 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 in the printing process and obviously I'm a photics ambassador so that's great with all the lighting stuff and that was a few years ago um, and yeah and I've won quite a few awards you know I've, I've won some which is great on the permajet paper obviously um, you know obviously I've won, I've won um, free print awards on your paper so that that tells you everything you need to know um and um and yeah you know I've, I've been ranked you know you know top top 50 top 100 photographer um you know in the past past two years yes. um and and wedding of the year one wedding of the year i think three times so you know it's all it's all testament to the quality of work you know we can all sit here and say you know how, how we are we're all award-winning but, you know, all it does to me is it tells me that my work is of a very high standard and, and that's really all, all, all that it means to me. Yeah. That's excellent. Tell us, tell us how and why you like to include prints within your business structure. Why, as, as one of a, a very few wedding photographers, you always like to include and take control of the print side. Always have done, yeah. Always have done. Um, you know, from the very start of the business, I, I always uh, wanted to deliver a product. Um, and I thought from a business model um, point of view, that that was obviously the way to go. And so I made that decision really on in, really on in, the, um, in, 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 in developing the business because that's the only thing that people are going to be left with. I mean, everyone's got the pictures. Everyone was um, pushing digitals. And actually, um, not many people offered albums and, and still don't now. Loads of people don't offer albums. So, yeah. and I get loads of people coming to me um, asking for, for, for either print or albums because they want their pictures um, displayed. Yeah, they want to see it. You know, they want to see it. So, and, and, and they specifically come to me because I offer that service because they say that no, a lot of them don't. I won't say no one does because obviously lots, a, a few do. But as a general rule, it's mostly digitals. So that instantly sets me apart, um, offering offering that service. And I enjoy it. I mean, look, there's nothing better than taking a picture and printing it out. There yeah. just isn't. Yeah. There, there just isn't. Seeing your work printed is, is the ultimate satisfaction. And in fact, I might even have that strap line on my website. And it because it because it is, I love, I, I just I just love seeing it printed. Um so it, it's a real um yeah, it's a it's a real added uh, added um, skilled service, uh, and and clients love it. Uh, they they just do, you know. So um, so yeah, it sets me apart from the people that that that, that don't. So that that's a core reason why uh, I offer the print service. So that's a USP, really, a benefit. A benefit that you bring to the client is that you're going to finished article complete. Yeah, hundred percent, and that's. You know, and, and as a business owner, you you need to be um, you need to be doing something that, that, that no one else is doing. And not saying no one else is offering print, of course they are. But you know, if 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 you're in a minority uh, against everyone else, then um, you know it, that 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 opens up a massive um, opportunity to to offer that service because no one else is willing to do it. Either they've got not got the skill set, um, don't know how to. Or just plainly just don't want to. <laughs> they just want to shoot and burn. You know, I mean, and this is obviously on the wedding side of the of 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 of, of, of the industry. But in fairness, even on the on, on on baby shoots and family shoots, you know, it's just quick wins. People people are after the quick wins. Um, shoot and burn. Shoot it. Give yeah. us some money for the digitals. There you go. They just aren't seeing the upsell opportunities and 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 the value add in actually spending a bit more time and, and going through the print process um so um so yeah i mean so that kind of hits it in a nutshell really
So what would you recommend photographers look to do then to increase their revenue stream with print, the prints aspect of it? What I mean, you, you know, build, build some... <laughs> build some product print print packages print products um find yourself a, a, a framer do some hand handheld framing um i mean i've 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 recently obviously um you know due due, due to the pandemic we've, pandemic we've got going on at the moment you know my wed the wedding industry is on its knees um you know i've moved nearly 30 weddings to next year um so I've had to, you know, um, open up additional revenues, uh, revenue streams myself. So I've gone through that process. And even though I've been going for 14 years, I've had to re, re, regenerate um, the thoughts of, you know, how do I offer um, print or how do I um, kind of improve my revenue streams and, and, and kind of diversify somewhat. And that's what the print, print products will allow you to do. Um, you know, you can go back to old customers, start speaking to them, you know, do some, spe you know, have some special offers. And I said before, you know, find a local framer that can make some beautiful frames for you um, or even just buy some something off the shelf. And, you, you know, you don't have to be charging mega bucks for the framing products. Um, but I think the handheld, you know, and I promote um, hand printing um, these images myself. You know, and I hand print them, I put them in my frames, um, you know, polish the product up. And, and it's a full, fully managed, you know, hand-built British product. Um, you know, and, and they're being printed, and, you know, and, um, and you'd be surprised. You know, I had an order recently, and um, in fact, it was an order for a, for a, for a, for a very large print. Um, and... She, you know, and, and she, she was on and on about the price because uh, she didn't really have the budget for it. Um, she, um, she wanted the digitals, but didn't know she could afford the print. Uh, I said, well, you know, I, I don't mind whichever way you want to do it. Um, you know, if, if you can't afford the print from me, um, you know, feel free to, you know, get the print done elsewhere. But obviously, you know, the benefits of, of me doing it for you, because I know exactly how I want the image, you know, to look when I print it. It's just not going to be printed and given to you. If it's not right, I'll print it again. Um, and she said, you know what, I want to place the order with you because that's exactly why I want you to do it. So, yeah. so there you go. In the bag sort of situation. You're making the money out of it. 100%. So, um, so yeah, we, I offer a little bit of retouching as well on it. So, you know, if clients want a nice print doing um, and, and they're not going to get this from, else, from, from anyone else, you know, I, I'll tell them that I'll, I'll retouch the image for them as well. So, you know, there's a little bit of an added bonus, um, you know, in, 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 in the service as well. So, um, so yeah, you know, there's loads of ways you could do it. I mean, I've added the print services onto the, the portrait um, side of, of Rycroft Studios, which is kind of the family shoot side of the business. So um, um, I've, I, I, we're offering the print service, um, print service there, but obviously also with the wedding business, it's, you know, it's, it's not hard to go back to your old customers and say, look, you know, did you ever print any of your pictures out? No. Oh, well, look, <laughs> you know, look at what I've got now. Yeah, yeah, I'm sitting here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got two or three different paper types. Do you, you know, do you, do you, you know, like and we've, we've got the new platinum range, it's got that beautiful metallic finish on it. You know, do you want that kind of finish? Do you want like a matte finish? Do you want just like a standard kind of luster finish? You know, I've got two or three different finishes of, of, of paper. Um, you know, what, what, what would fit well in your home? Um, you know, and they're part of the handheld service as well, you know. Do you include the customer in the paper choice? Is that, is that part of what you do? Absolutely. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, absolutely. You know, do, do they want it reflective? Do they want it not reflective? Um, um, you know, do, you know, and, and how do they want the finish? Yeah, of course. Cause that's part of the value add, isn't it? That's yeah. part of the service you're offering. Um, it's a service they're not going to get from anyone else. So that, that, that's all part of the consultation um, process. Right, great. And, and you've won, you've previously won awards and I'm sure you're going to go on to win awards. Tell me, what made you select the the paper that you particularly used to win uh, you know recently the last two awards that you've, you've... absolutely um mostly because your paper is just very easy to print on you know and you don't have to be a printing expert and i think that's probably why most people deter away from going through that process themselves um it, it's just it's a beautiful finished um paper um, it's very forgiving. So if you're doing, you know, if you're entering print competitions for the first time, 
um, you probably want a very forgiving paper. And you're going to learn, you, you know, you'll learn, you, you might not win many awards on on, um, on on your first round. And in fact, my first round on SWPP, I won one award. The second time, I won three. In fact, no, four. Yeah, three or four, I can't remember. I've won that many awards. I'm kidding, I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't. Um, but, you know, um, very, very forgiving, um, very cost-effective. Um, it's not going to break the bank if you need to print three or four, five, just to get that perfect finish. You're tweaking, you, you, you know, you're getting... Um, um, you're getting your profiles right, and of course, you know, um, you know, obviously, I use your ICC profile um, service, which is really important. Um, but, um, but yeah, you know, I think all the above. Uh, I would say, you know, it's a it's a very um, cost effective paper, very easy paper to print on, very forgiving, and and just a beautiful finish. And I think, and if you are doing it for the first time, uh, those are the things that you need. And it's oyster that you used to start with, but I know you went on to use, and I think you said that somebody here recommended. Yeah. Tried one of the burrito papers. Yeah, the FB Gold. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my favourite paper. Yeah. And um, guys, so it's that paper. When you feel the difference between the two papers, it's incredible. It's um, it's just really, it's it's just a, a really nice heavy paper. Um, the oyster is a little bit thinner, but when you get when for me when I get when I pick up the FB Gold. It's just a more substantial um, paper, um, and and of course, um, you know when 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 um, you you guys had seen the prints, you were like, you know, if you'd used um, a paper which is all like very similar, but just it's just gonna pop the colours and it's just gonna it's just gonna really enhance uh, the finish of the print, and you're gonna get an extra two or three points because you're gonna use this paper. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Because yeah. that's the difference between you know you 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 get in an award and you just get in a you know a thumbs up. Um, so I was like, yeah, if I can get if I can scrape in an extra two or three points from the paper, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna be doing that, of course. It's the right yeah. way to go, isn't it? The paper's always going to enhance what you're doing, and if you move into a sort of art space, or I mean, I know just recently you you've started to do some diversification work because of the wedding situation and you're starting to produce some some images for a lady in in the gin factory or something seems to be in a gin factory yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're way off <laughs> <laughs> the bottles of gin are they? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. No, i'm just an alcoholic it's fine and um, yeah no absolutely yeah um so obviously i I um, have my studio in a place called Birkdale, which is a beautiful Victorian village, which was pretty much established in the late 1800s. So um, we have a, a great community of uh, local businesses and it's always been local businesses here. So um, I have a, a neighbor down the road in the village, that, that um, Sally, Sally B, who has a, a luxury gift shop. And um, I've known Sally for, for quite some time since she opened that store. We've done a few things together. Uh, and in fact, I'm shooting her daughter's wedding, um, hopefully, call by me, uh, in December. Uh, so that is actually still planned to go ahead. So I'm shooting Sally's, uh, Sally's daughter's wedding then. And, um, and yeah, so she, um, she likes personalized gifts. Her clients are uh, like personalized gifts. Uh, and, and, and the community is a little bit like that around here. So we just kind of, you know, in passing, she was like, you know, do you think you could come up with, with anything that you think we could offer, you know, for, for a bit of fun? Um, and, 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 and I'm mostly just doing it because it's just interesting. You know, I, I kind of like playing with the paper and I like the design and it gives me an opportunity to do something, but also build a relationship with, with Sally. She's got a, a fabulous customer base, um, you know, and um, so we've we we developed um i've developed or had a designer make um some kind of very um artistic gin bottles which seem to be kind of all the rage um at the moment and um, that can be framed and have been printing that on the matte paper and and we've also produced um just uh, a a a baby naming um, which, which sounds really weird. I'm not explaining this very well, but when a baby's born, we we have like an ABC thing, and, it, and it's a design um, that 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 looks very kind of baby like. And then we put the baby's name on the bottom. We put the date of the birth and the weight and the things, and, it, and it's just all text. But the the matte paper works perfectly on it because it just it it looks like a fabulous 
uh, clean print, um, just on, on, you know, really expensive, nice paper. So it works, re- works really well. So the, the, this relationship's obviously helping me um, kind of get access to her client base. You know, she's talking about this and especially, you know, uh, if I'm doing a lot more of the portrait side of the business and, you know, people are coming in, ordering pictures um, and, and these prints for uh, the, you know, um, the grandchildren or, 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 or friends that have had a baby, then of course, you know, I've got an opportunity there where, you know, maybe they'll, you know, who's made this? Oh, Matt Redcraft. Yeah, he, he does family photography. Well, okay. So, um, you know, as, as much as it is diver- diversifying, it's it's really less about the money that I make on on, on, on the items, but which is still substantial. Um, it's more about building the relationship and, and, and access to client base. And then that's kind of what you've got to do, you know, what as a business, really what you should be thinking about now. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm predominantly a wedding photographer. I'll shoot, you know, around 40 weddings a year. Um, that's pretty much been, been, been removed this year now. So I've got to find a way to, you know, uh, make, make some money and, and diversify and, and grow the business. So I've got to look at my, my, my routes to market. Uh, and, and this is a great route, route to market and open some doors for me. So I like, I like what you've done. I like the fact that when we talked originally and you said, you know, in my position, what do I do? I, I have to diversify. And, and I think, you know, telling your story helps a lot of other wedding photographers who might be sitting there thinking, I only do wedding photography. And by the sound of it, what you're saying is by getting out there and knocking on a few doors, you can build relationships that will have ongoing effects. Oh, yeah. Oh, future. yeah. Future. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, no, no question about it. Um, I have a saying that I've, I've used for many years um, and, it, and it's do something now that your future self will thank you for. Yeah, right. Do something now. Yeah. You know, and it might not be a massive amount of value or, or, or revenue from, from doing what I'm doing right now. Um, you know, and that's short term narrow mindedness. If, if I thought that way, but I don't, I'm always a long term thinker. I'm always thinking about building relationships and, 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 and what we can do later on down the line. And from Sally's point of view, she's got a great, unique um, handmade product that's made in the village. I can produce these and give her them within hours if she needs it. Um, a great custom product, uh, which is perfect for her branding and, and, and perfect for her shop because that's what she does. Um, and she's working with a local business. It's two local businesses working together, which is really what, what we're all promoting at the moment. This is what we're promoting at the moment, you yeah. know. And, and if nothing comes from it, it doesn't it doesn't doesn't really matter. But I'll tell you now, at some point, Sally will talk about either a family photo shoot with someone or or a wedding with someone, and I will be the first name that she that she says, you know. So and there you go. You well, know. that's great. I think. Thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. And uh, right, thank you. Short and sweet to the point. Sounds like you know exactly where you're going. Even exactly, in- yeah. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, Robin. Thanks for the uh, invitation. It's great speaking. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye.